Wow, I just watched most of the shows on Apple TV+. Plus. Now what? It took me approximately three days to finish most of the shows on Apple TV+, Plus, Apple's new video on demand service, and I didn't even binge watch. Otherwise, I could have probably finished everything in one or one and a half days. Yep, there's that little content included in the service. I've only skimmed through the kids shows, but I've watched the entirety of the shows available for the adult audiences. That's uh, three out of the total eight shows available. But let's go through it in more detail. As I mentioned at the time of this video, there are only eight shows available. Four for adults, three for kids, and one documentary for the whole family. The number of episodes for each show varies, but in most of the cases the shows are not complete and only have three episodes available. At least that applies for the adult shows. So you can pretty easily watch everything on the first trial week of Apple TV+. What is there though is quite good, but it's obvious that Apple is out of its element. Apple is not a production company, so they don't know how to churn out shows in a quick and efficient manner. Having only a handful of episodes on launch day is a bit underwhelming. But let's go through some of the shows to see what they offer. For whatever reason, I started with the first episode of the kids show Ghost Rider. It was Halloween and I needed something easily digestible. I'm definitely not the target audience here, so it won't surprise anyone if I say that to me at least this is one of the weakest offerings. It feels like a low budget made for TV show. And that's not because there's no production quality there. I'm sure it wasn't a cheap production. The show has big sets, the final delivery is in crisp 4K, it has effect shots in most episodes, and there are some big names attached to the show. But everything feels a little bit... Eh. The acting, while not bad, it's nothing really amazing, and the direction feels less cinematic and more like a multi-camera sitcom from the 90s. These things might not be immediately visible to the target audience, but overall it's nothing exciting. At least for me, that is. After my initial disappointment, I quickly switched to the heavily promoted morning show. I remember liking the trailer, so it felt like a safe choice. This one definitely did not disappoint. It's obvious that Apple threw a lot of money to the show. Everything from the writing to the direction, cinematography, and acting is top notch. The show is engaging from the very first minute, and immediately after finishing the first episode, I started watching the second one. The second episode was even better than the first one, and you could tell that there was some thought behind the show. With each minute, the characters were getting more and more fleshed out, and the plot got even better. This one is a winner, and I will definitely watch it until the end. With both shows though, I immediately saw a pattern. Product placement for Apple products is through the roof. I understand that all of the shows are Apple produced, but sometimes it feels like the shows were produced just to showcase Apple's uh, products. The kid in Ghost Rider, for example, is uh, FaceTiming his friend, while everyone in the morning show has iPhones and Apple laptops. Some of the characters also gather news from Apple's service, News. It's a little bit too heavy-handed, and it portrays a world very different from reality. So in some cases, it takes you out of the flow of things. But let's move on to another heavily promoted show, C. The whole premise of the show when uh, watching the trailer didn't really appeal to me, but given the lack of content, I decided to give it a try. Thankfully, the show is quite good. It slowly grows on you, which was a pleasant surprise. The beginning sequences felt a tad ridiculous to me, I don't want to spoil anything, but as you watch more of it, it keeps pulling you in until you get hooked. It also helps that it's so beautifully shot. The photography is excellent and in combination with the 4K delivery, you're constantly drooling on every single frame of the show. There are also some memorable sequences like when some characters interact with another character called the Shadow or a fight sequence near the end of the third episode. Aside from the extremely long title sequence, the show has some very good qualities. I was also surprised by Momoa's acting. I did not expect to see such a performance from him. With the morning show in C, Apple wants to show that they're not afraid to address mature audiences. The morning show is littered with F-bombs and C has some really graphic fight scenes and also the weirdest way for anyone to pray. That's all I'm going to say. 
C also has only 3 episodes available, so you're definitely left wanting more. Unfortunately, this good streak ends with the next show, For All Mankind. It's unfortunate because the trailer looked very interesting, but I'm 2 episodes in and I still don't understand where this is going. We're in an alternate universe where Russians are the first uh, to land a man on the moon, but besides that, it's not obvious why we're witnessing these things. It mostly feels like we're watching people interact with each other and see their struggles, but without really knowing why. It's nicely shot and it has some solid acting, but I don't get what the point of it is. Maybe it's just me though. Either way, after 2 hours of uh, serious drama, I decided to switch things up a bit and go for something more lighthearted. Snoopy in Space is uh, also a very nicely produced show, and along with Ghost Riders and Dickinson, it's also the show with the most available episodes. 12 in total. It's not a bad show at all, and it definitely maintains the overall Peanuts look and feel. It's nice and quirky, and with uh, episodes running 8 minutes each, it doesn't overstay its welcome. After Snoopy, I just skimmed through the remaining shows just to get an overall idea. I think Apple TV Plus as a product is not a bad one. It's seriously lacking content, but what is there is quite solid. In no shape or form though can it compete uh, content-wise with Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime Video. It has a long way to go. What Apple TV Plus has going for it though, apart from its very eclectic shows, is its technical prowess. All shows are delivered in 4K and that high quality is obvious from the very first second. I feel that all of their shows are delivered in a higher bitrate than Netflix's 4K stream, but I don't have any numbers to compare. The video just looks like it's uh, delivered in incredibly high quality. It's very crisp and very detailed. What is not obvious though is uh, Apple's strategy on show delivery. It feels like they want to break the binge watching mentality of Netflix. None of the shows are complete, but it could just very well be that they are unprepared and they just delivered what they had ready at this time. Overall, I feel that Apple TV Plus has the possibility of being a really good service, but at this moment I don't really think it's ready for a big audience. Apple TV Plus costs uh, 4 euros per month, and at the moment you can watch everything available on the service in just a couple of days. In comparison, Amazon Prime Video costs uh, 6 euros, and the amount of content available is not even comparable. If you happen to have uh, bought a new Apple device, then having the first year for free is definitely the way to go. And also a smart decision from Apple's side. Paying full price for it though, so early in its development is probably not the way to go. Apple TV Plus is probably going to be worthwhile same time next year, when more shows are available. Overall though, I'm optimistic that the service will have a lot of variety. What is there is solid, so Apple just needs to pick up the pace, but of course without sacrificing uh, quality. It just feels that it needs a bit more time to get fleshed out. I would be interested though to know how you guys feel about Apple TV+. Plus. Did you enjoy the shows? Will you subscribe to it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious how you guys uh, feel about it. And that about wraps it up uh, for this video. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.